welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for listening and supporting local journalism in Central Maine. Now here's J.P. Divine. Where's your manual? Yes. Yes. I'm aware that the world is in a state of chaos. People are suffering and dying in Israel and Palestine. Humans are being stabbed in Manhattan streets. Of course, I feel guilty. Penning a humorous column in such a world, writers are human. But making people laugh is what I get paid for. And I started this piece before things got this bad. And I'm stuck with it because, well, people need to laugh, even in the dark alleys of America. So let's get this out of the way. Manuals. <clears throat> oh, my household appliances and yours, except for the toilets, come with a manual. Most manuals are printed in at least two languages, usually Spanish, English, and an Asian language where all of my appliances are made. A manual is a document that is supposed to walk you through the necessary steps to make your appliance function. Where do you get a manual? Dumpsters are your first star. Dumpsters are in every alley in the world, full of stolen guns, diapers, misplaced documents, and manuals, <laughs> and sometimes body parts. All manuals wind up there. Yes, the print's too small, and like yourself, I can't find my glasses. Luckily, I have a wife who never takes hers off. If you don't have someone like her, I suggest <laughs> you get one. You're old now, very old, and everything you own except for your mate comes with a manual, like your cell phone. Do you need a manual to use a cell phone? No. You ask your grandkids or any three-year-old, just give it to them and stand back. Why am I telling you this? Here it comes, nonagenarian. Stop it. I know I wrote about this condition before. Well, this is different. I repeat... A nonagenarian is a person 90 to 99. That would make me or you older than the president of the United States, including all of his rivals. Teenagers don't understand the word. When you use it, they will step back and grab a COVID mask, say, I don't know how to find my Gmail, and then hand it to them. So I'm writing a new manual disguised as a book. You'll want to read that will hopefully appear on the bookshelves everywhere, perhaps in the winter or probably the spring. It will be called, are you writing this down? Nonagenarian rules for dummies. Now, first, do you know one? I mean, is there a dance club in Maine where you this age group hangs out? So, I would like details. I cover the junk food shops with no success because if you've lived long enough to be a nonagenarian, you don't probably do junk food. Now, text me if you know one around. One chapter will be mostly about jeans. These are not the kind your kids wear, but the real stuff. A jean is the basic physical and functional unit of hereditary. We all inherit genes. One from each parent. I have my mother's eyes, nose, and longevity. I have my father's brain. And gratefully, not his nose, you have my text. So read my book, Manual. Time is running out. And guess who's waiting at the nursing home? Oh, a cute centenarian. Maybe. Did I say that out loud? Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Divine. On the Edge with J.P. Divine audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for supporting local journalism in Central Maine.